Hey everyone, Jason here again. Welcome back to my Knot channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Harvester's Hitch, which is a traditional version of the Trucker's Hitch. This knot is known by a few different names, including the Wagoner's Hitch, the Haymaker's Hitch, the Lorry Knot, and of course, the Trucker's Hitch. This method of tying a Trucker's Hitch is more similar to a Sheepshank knot than the other methods of tying a Trucker's Hitch. We begin to tie the harvester's hitch by passing our working end around our anchor point, in this case a tree. From there, we create a large bite in the standing part and pass the working end over the bite. Next, we make a small loop in the standing part, pass the bite through the loop, and then tension the knot. Now secure the knot by tying a couple half hitch knots with the working end. Although this is the traditional way of tying the trucker's hitch, it is unfortunately not as reliable as some of the other options. You can see that if the rope is shaken, twisted, or bumped around, the knot will fail. However, the benefit of tying the trucker's hitch in this way is that it's easy to untie when finished. One option to make the harvester's hitch a bit more secure is to double up the loops. That is, create two loops instead of only one. By doing this, if the first loop fails, the second loop will hopefully hold it in place. Still, you can see that this is a less secure form of a trucker's hitch than some of the other variations. I think that in many ways some of the older methods of tying knots have been replaced by newer methods as well as with new technology. Regardless, the harvester's hitch is a valuable knot to learn to improve your understanding of compound knots and how to tie them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see other ways to tie a trucker's hitch, check out my video, 9 Ways to Tie a Trucker's Hitch Next. Thanks for watching.